All right, guys. Thank you so much. We got one more for you. Um, you know, it's not like everybody has talked about it. it. It's it's not all doom and gloom. And like I left Boston in January of 2016, and the way I left was, you know, my parents were bringing me to uh, another airport to go to another treatment center, and I overdosed in the airport at Logan Airport at nine o'clock in the morning on uh, January 22nd, 2016, and my father found me. You know, in the in the bathroom stall, completely blue, not breathing, and just a nightmare. You know, I had to give me CPR until the uh, EMTs got there. My mother was screaming outside of the bathroom, and like that's after I got out of the hospital. That's how I left Boston. You know, and then I ended up in Jersey in uh, June of 2016, and I went to a place called Alina Lodge for a year, and then uh, you know, I learned in there that like I was enough, and that I could sit with myself, and like that, you know, take the drugs and alcohol away, there's still, you know, the, an overwhelming problem that, like, I didn't feel like I was good enough, and I was always comparing my insides with other people's outsides, and, like, they just never matched up. But what I learned there is that we were all the same, and it's been echoed here tonight. You know, there's no difference between anybody in here. And then I got the gift of going to the Milestone House in, uh, in Dover, New Jersey, and then I got the gift of going to Cares, and then the gift of, uh, learning more about like my fellowship and talking to people, talking to law enforcement, talking to teachers, speaking at schools, becoming a peer recovery specialist in the state of New Jersey, and then going and not canning people or being at the bedside of people who were once where I was a couple years ago. You know, and, uh, that's when I met, uh, and then I went to New Pathways and I met Frank and Kim, and, you know, uh, they, they both had like a piece that I want wanted and so I would just keep following their instructions and Nicoletta's instructions and Carrie Bailey's instructions and Nicola's and you know uh, Alton and just so many so many beautiful people in this community in this county that helped uh, I tell people I'm from Boston but I grew up in New Jersey uh, and then I met uh, Vicki Mulligan uh, Life Center Stage and the uh, Knockout Opioid Abuse Awareness Contest. And uh, Kim Vitale actually sent me this flyer and I was like, wow, that's something that's like near and dear to my heart. So I had this song called I Stand at the Door, which is a poem written by a guy named Sam Shoemaker. And it's about standing at the door of, he's talking about God, but I'm talking about recovery, you know? And there's a lot of people dying outside that door and like, all I need to do is reach your hand out. So like, I'm trying to dedicate my life to being that hand and not get too far inside the house and forget like what it's like to be outside that door. So I wrote this song, Lorraine, Kev, Sam, Tyler, help me put it together. And we're gonna end